Hey guys, it's your girl happiness here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Shopify tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to set up your checkout process on your Shopify store. So the process that I'm going to show you guys today is very simple and quick and it will make the checkout process very easy and simple for you and your customers as well checkout doesn't need to be very complicated you have to make it very easy for your customers so they can go ahead and buy from your website if you make the checkout process very hard majority of your customer will end up not buying anything from your store so stay tuned on today's tutorial and make sure you watch this tutorial until the end because you really don't want to miss out so before I jump into this tutorial please don't forget to smash the like button leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's tutorial um subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so and yeah let's go ahead and jump in today's tutorial now we are on our shopify admin page we will go ahead and start customizing our checkout settings so first we'll go ahead and click settings and then we will go ahead and click checkout so as we can customize our online checkout process. So now we are on our checkout page. So pretty much we are going to start by customizing our customer account. We only have three options right over here. Click right over here that a customer is required to have an account in order for them to check out. Or if you want an account to be optional, you can go ahead and select this one so your customer will be able to check out if they have a customer account or if they want to check out as a guest, they can go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and select account or optional, but you can pretty much go ahead and select what you think is best for your store. And then we are going to customize customer contact. We have two options right over here. So you can go ahead and pick one of these options right over here. If you want your customers to go ahead and check out by using only their email address, you can go ahead and select this one. If you want to have many choices, you can go ahead and select the first one because your customer will be able to check out by either using their phone number or the email address. And for those who check out with their phone number, they'll be able to get an SMS update about what they bought from your store, okay? Also, I'll go ahead and select the first one so I can give my customer uh, a choice to what they want to do. And right over here, you can go ahead and pick either one of these or you can pick both of them. So this is for shipping updates. So let's say you want your customers to add their phone number or an email to receive a shipping updates after they complete their order, you can go ahead and select this one. Or if you want only your customer to download or the shop up from their order status page, they can go ahead and do this one. So if if you select only this one in order for your customer to receive an update about their order status, they'll have to download the shop app. But if you want to give them a different varieties, you can pick either of these two and your customers can choose what they want to do. And right over here, we are going to customize our checkout form. So pretty much you can go ahead and choose if you want your customer to provide their first name and last name or only the last name name. So you can go ahead and choose what you want. So I'm going to choose both first and last name and then for the company name you can actually hide these options or you can put it as required or optional so i am going to leave as an optional and for an address line number two so pretty much this is where your customers will go ahead and put their apartment number the unit number etc so if you want this to be shown on your checkout if you want this to be required you can select required hidden or optional so i'll just go ahead and put it as optional and for the shipping address phone number, so pretty much if you want your customer to put their phone number for the shipping purposes, you can go ahead and, and select required. Or if you want to hide this option, you can select hidden or you can just click optional and this will be up to your customers. Okay. And on the tippings section, you can go ahead and select 
uh, show tipping options at checkout. Pretty much your customer will go ahead and add a tip to their purchase they did on their on, on your website just to show a support for your business. So if you want tip for your business, you can go ahead and select this box and pretty much you'll have different tips options. So you can go ahead and edit. If you want 20%, 15%, you can go ahead and edit, okay? But I really don't want tip for my business, so I'm just going to unselect that. And then now we are on the section of order processing. So on this section right over here, you can pick either one of these. So if you want to use the shipping address as the billing address by default, so this is when your customer are checking out, they can go ahead and type their home address. Um, so if you want that option, you can go ahead and select it. But if you want your customer to have their addresses suggested when they're putting their information at the checkout, you can go ahead and select this one and unselect this one. But if you want both, you can go ahead and select them so your customers can have a choices for both so they can either put their address in full or the system can go ahead and suggest an address for them okay and right over here you can go ahead and select what you want and this will be after an order has been paid you can go ahead and choose if you want automatic call to fulfill the orders lines items or if you want to automatically fulfill only the gift card of the order and lastly if you want to do not automatically fulfill any of the orders line items you can go ahead and select all of this so i'll just go ahead and select automatically fulfill only the gift card of the order and make sure this one is selected so pretty much after an order has been fulfilled and paid the system will automatically archive the order so the system will go ahead and fulfill the order automatically and remove it from an open order list. So make sure this is selected. And now we are on the market consent. So pretty much if you want this option to be shown on your checkout form, your customers will be able to subscribe to your marketing emails and SMS text at checkout. So they can go ahead and add their email address or their phone number for them to receive your um, either promotions, discounts, etc. Okay. So you can go ahead and select email marketing and your customer will be able to go ahead and add their email for the marketing purposes. Or if you went for SMS marketing, you can go ahead and choose this one too. And lastly, there, we are going to finish setting up an additional script. So on this box right over here, you can go ahead and add the tracking scripts in order for you to record your customer events or either a customization to the order status page, okay? So you can go ahead and type what you want. So type what you want. And on the checkout language, you can go ahead and manage the language you want to be shown on your checkout or on your store in general. So pretty much the store checkout page is displayed in English. But if you want to have a different language, you can go ahead and click right over here, manage checkout language. And you can go ahead and um, add the language you want, okay? once you picked your language you can go ahead and click save so yeah guys this is how you customize your online checkout process i hope you liked this shopify tutorial if you do then please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's video and if you have any questions you can go ahead and ask me down below on the comment section and that's it for today i will see you guys on the next video